Hello, it's Steve O's. Welcome to weekly vlog number 108. It is Monday morning, just woke up and just about to get dressed. Just about to open my curtains. Just put some washing on in the washing machine. For breakfast today, I've got Choco Pillow cereal. Just made my first three in one coffee of the day. On the backfield, taking Buddy for his first walk of the day. Just about to have a shave while I'm watching EastEnders 2009 yeah, on BBC iPlay on my Tab S7 Plus. Watching classic Six Doctor Who on BritBox. Okay, so I'm at BH2 in Bournemouth, uh, about to go to Odeon Cinemas to go and see the Batman. I'm the Batman. The Batman was incredibly wonderful, visually perfect. The acting was cinematically really well done as well. The music scoring was absolutely beautiful. I tell you what, the director of that movie, Matt Reeves, has done a fantastic job with creating that masterpiece of a movie. It is definitely a movie that is worth seeing on the big screen. Robert Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz, who both play uh, Batman and Catwoman respectively, they did for such phenomenal jobs in their roles, I think. I personally prefer Robert Pattinson as Batman than I do Bruce Wayne, to be honest. Um, but that's just my... Uh, thoughts on it there was a couple of scenes in it which i thought dragged out a little bit too long but i think that was just the way how the scenes were played out i guess but yeah there, there was a couple of scenes which i did think were dragging a little bit but other than that though the pacing of it was really really good really loved the story as well it was definitely a, a detective noir story definitely um i really enjoyed it i really did enjoy it it was very mysterious and it was kind of like putting a pieces of a jigsaw together as well. So really did enjoy that movie. The Batman is available to watch right now at your local cinemas at the time of recording this week's weekly vlog. For dinner I have chicken, baked beans and roast potatoes. For dessert I have raspberry cheesecake. Good night in my pyjamas and I've just uh, drunk my last cup of tea of the evening and taken my nighttime medication. Just about to head off to bed. It's quarter past 11 on this Monday night as I've got work tomorrow so I'm going to head off to bed. But before I do it's time for me to shut my curtains and say good night world. See you tomorrow. Tuesday morning just woke up just got dressed as well into my work uniform and taken Buddy for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood flask of tea right here my apple watch on my wrist and i'm walking to work on this tuesday morning doing a quarter past six to a quarter past ten shift taking buddy for his second walk of the day around the backfield watching the mass singer uk on britbox the afternoon just got back from shopping at asda in castle point this week i didn't go to aldi i fancied a change i was originally going to go to sainsbury's but instead i decided to go to asda because it was a bit closer and yeah, I just fancied a change other than Aldi, really, for once. But anyway, this is what I did get uh, this week at Asda in Castle Point. Um, but I picked up some uh, Bramley apple pies, which are upside down now. There we go. Uh, I also picked up some sour cream and um, onion um, party bites as well, which is what Aldi does. But um, yeah, I thought I'd give those ones a go. Picked up a King Pot noodle for maybe a lunch, maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to have these a little bit later on, but I've got some apple turnovers um, and I also picked up as well in the same area some shoe buns. So yeah, I do like some shoe buns. Um, I also picked up two milk chocolate bars as well. I picked up some onion ring crisps, which oh, I can't really show you. There we go, onion rings. Um, I also picked up some caramel um oh caramel bi uh, biscuits i also picked up some um caramel chews uh picked up some malted biscuits as well or malted milk biscuits which i think are ideal for like cups of tea i also picked up some uh chocolate digestive biscuits and i also picked up some aero dark milk as well there we go. Which is cheaper than the Cadbury dark milk, to be honest. So, there we go. Uh, I also picked up some lemon muffins. Some... Um, oh, these I'm going to have for lunch today. Um, chicken and mushroom slices, which I'm going to have for lunch in a minute. Um, just sitting up there. Uh, I also picked up some uh, Belgian buns as well. There's some Belgian buns. 
Um, oh god, it's all falling all over the place now. Uh, some bourbon biscuits as well. Uh, some wagon wheels as well. Um, some Kinder Bueno, white Kinder Buenos, which I've not had in a really long time. So looking forward to having those again because it's been a very long time since I last had those. I also picked up uh, some nutty bars as well and I also picked up some Harry Bell Harry Bow super mix and uh, I also picked up some Harry Bow star mix as well and last but not least I also picked up which I might have for lunch a little bit later on some pork and pickle uh, pork pies as well so there we go that's everything I bought this week at Adsta in Castle Point dinner tonight I have made chicken tikka masala <laughs> what a fun half an hour I've just had um, by the way it is uh, Tuesday night I've just had a shower and got into my pyjamas uh, I've also watched tonight's episode of EastEnders and Emmerdale on both BBC iPlayer and uh, ITV Hub respectively on my TV in my bedroom and earlier uh, when I watched Emmerdale there was a quote which uh, one of the characters Vinny said um, on Emmerdale and it, I just put Vinny She's off her head. And I said, too right, Vinny. Mandy is always off her head. Such an annoying character. With a gif that just goes, annoying. <laughs> ah, um, <laughs> now, I'm not making this up. Um, and I'm not kidding when I say this. But two minutes later, I get a notification on my phone. You want to know who gave me a follow on Twitter? Two minutes later, after using the hashtag, hashtag Emmerdale in that tweet. Lisa Riley, the woman that plays Mandy on Emmerdale. I'm not joking you. That is actually what happened. I'm not making this up, neither. <laughs> I'm not making it up. Oh, my God. Oh, my days. That is absolutely hilariously funny. It really is. Um, I was not expecting Lisa Riley, who plays Mandy in Emmerdale, to give me a follow on Twitter after I call her a uh, character in Emmerdale annoying. Um, <laughs> anyway, also as well, uh, today is a year ago since Piers Morgan basically left uh, Good Morning Britain here in the UK. He walked off after his comments about Meghan Markle being known as Princess Pinocchio. That's his words, not mine. Um, and I actually replied to his tweet when he mentioned about it. And I said, a year ago since this moment happened on GMB. Can't quite believe it's been a year. Still looking forward to your new show coming soon, though. I know for a fact you won't be walking away like this. And I posted a gif of him walking away from the Good Morning Britain set. Now, it has had 56 likes on his Twitter page. I've had one quote tweet uh, where somebody said, A year ago today, the baby at Piers Morgan threw, threw the toys out the pram. Thanks for reminding us, said that person. Um, but there's been comments on here saying, Hit the nail on the head. This is getting retweeted today. Tomorrow happened on my birthday. Lol, best birthday Prezi ever. Uh, and then someone said, Wow, you must have received some crap gifts over the years. Someone else had laughing emojis. Uh, someone else put, And GMB has been in free fall since. Um, and there's been some other comments as well. I just dropped my phone, by the way. Um, so yeah, there was... Uh, this one as well, going... Well, Piers literally walked into forty million dollar deal. Have you paid your own bills? Um, and then somebody else said he didn't. He didn't walk off because of MM Meghan Markle. Um, he walked off rather than tell the snake Alex Beresford what he thought of a colleague who he had supported and had then attacked him in such a vicious personal way on air, preferable to punching him, which many would have been tempted to do. And then also, uh, someone then went, Poppycock, this man, <laughs> this man attacked MM for two weeks on GMB prior to the Oprah Winfrey interview. It was disgusting, and that's why 
the complaints to Ofcom was off the chart. If you can dish it out, sit your ass down and take it. Anyway, uh, someone else said, uh, Piers Morgan, you can dish out hate, but obviously, Piers, you can't take it when someone pulls you up on your terrible behaviour over a woman that didn't want you. Get over it, move on, and let it go, please. Um, so there we go. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Well, there we go. Um, yeah, and someone else said, he's a clown. So, yeah, so there we go. I've had a lot of uh, tweets um, in regards to this. Five retweets, one quote tweet, 56 likes. Um, yeah, there we are. That's my uh, popularity done for the day. Uh, if you do want to give me a follow, by the way, on Twitter, it's at my name is Steve-O with the OB and a zero. I will repeat that Twitter account again. Uh, the Twitter username you need is at my name is Steve-O with the OB and a zero. And yes, sometimes it can get very controversial on my Twitter page. You're welcome. Um, finally today before i do head off to bed because i am going to be heading off to bed in a moment uh it's just coming up to half past 10 at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog i just want to say that today is international women's day and i couldn't let this day go past without wishing all of my lovely women followers on social media and women viewers whoever watches this weekly vlog I just want to wish them a happy International Women's Day. It, this is your day. This really is your day. Um, so, honestly, keep being you. You're doing amazing. And you're absolutely fabulous at whatever you lovely ladies out there are doing. Okay? And just keep up the good work. Because, honestly, you are absolutely fabulous in each and every one of your own ways. Um, so, yeah. So, there we go. Happy International Women's Day. Don't worry, men. We'll have our day very soon. Um, actually, I did search it up. There is actually uh, such thing as an International Men's Day. I believe it's in November. Uh, I think it was November 19th or something like that. So there we go. So if you want to know when International Men's Day is, it's uh, a little bit later on in the year. In the meantime, though, uh, it is just coming up to half past 10 at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. And I am now heading off to bed because I do have work tomorrow. So for now, I'm about to shut my curtains and say goodnight to the world. And I... We'll see you tomorrow. It's Wednesday evening, halfway through the week and halfway through this week's weekly vlog. And for dinner, I have made chilli con carne with some rice. Just made my last cup of tea of the evening, just about to take my nighttime medication. Good night, I'm in my pyjamas right now and I'm just about to head off to bed as I do have work tomorrow. And it is 20 past 11, so it's time to sleep. morning, it's half past four in the morning. I've just woke up and just got dressed into my work uniform and I'm starting off my day by taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood. Just put my Apple Watch on my wrist and I have also made myself a flask of tea to take with me to work. Currently on my way to work on this Thursday morning doing a quarter past six till quarter past ten shift at work today. So it is currently Thursday afternoon, just finished recording this week's weekly podcast, which is available right now on Spotify Music, Apple Podcast, and Google Podcast. This is how long it is, an hour and 14 minutes. Uh, but yeah, this is Podcast 82. Check it out on those streaming platforms. Just search Steve's weekly podcast. It's me! Mario! Yeah, that's right. March 10th today. Which can only mean one thing. Today is Super Mario Day. M-A-R-1-0. What does that make? Mario, essentially. Um, so yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd add that here. Happy Mario Day, everyone. Um, which means, you know, it's my yearly let's do an impression of Mario, which I feel as though gets better and better every year. It's a me! Mario! Ha ha! Ya ha! Ya! Yahoo! Anyway, um, there we go. Uh, another Mario impression is going to be coming up again next year. Um, <laughs> anyway, it is Thursday night. I'm just about to get my trainers on and my coat on and take Buddy for his final walk of the evening around the neighbourhood. Good morning, it is Friday morning, starting off my day by watching Fairfax on Prime Video. In the Legends of Vox Machina. In the first episode of Season 2 of Upload on Prime Video.
Kevin Kevin, Kevin can f himself on Prime Video. Nope. Watching one of us is lying on Netflix. Watching the stay close on Netflix. Watching the woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window on Netflix. Watching the weekend family on Disney Plus. In the Great North on Disney Plus. Watching our kind of people on Disney Plus. Watching Queens on Disney Plus on my Tab S7 Plus. And uh, for lunch today, I got this muscle food, which my sister has kindly given us, which. I've, which has been put in the freezer and all I needed to do was microwave it in the microwave for about seven minutes from frozen. Uh, this is a Thai chicken sort of curry thing. I'm looking forward to trying this actually. It's muscle food so mm, seems very nice, very healthy for lunch. Watching the Wonder Years on Disney Plus. Watching the dropout on Disney Plus. Watching Pam and Tommy on Disney Plus. Watching Turning Red on Disney Plus. Watching the Adam Project this is on the Netflix. Electromagnet so, I have finished watching Turning Red and I've also finished watching the Adam Project as you've just seen there. I want to give my thoughts on both of those movies. Um, now, Turning Red, I'll start with that one first. This was a movie that was meant to originally come out in the cinemas, but Disney pulled the decision um, from showing it in cinemas and instead brought it to uh, Disney's streaming service, Disney+. Plus. And to be honest, regardless whether this movie came out in cinemas or not, I think I would have gone to see it regardless. Uh, I thought this movie was really, really good, to be honest. Um, I love the way how they kind of integrated anime-style um, facial reactions, I guess you could say, from some of the characters um, into, into the movie. I also love the fact that we had this big introduction in terms of um, the main character, May's um, friends, I love the fact we had that bit of an introduction as to who they are, what their names are and stuff at the beginning. Absolutely love that. I love some of the music that they use. I mean, this is the first time in a Pixar movie that they've used a boy band um, in any of their movies. And I love the fact that they, whoever the boy band was, I don't know who it was, but I know that in the movie they were called Four uh, Town. And... I quite liked some of their songs. I thought some of their songs were pretty decent in that. Um, I do know that a soundtrack is out now, by the way, for the movie. So I'm wondering if maybe I can go back and listen to a couple of the songs from that boy band in the soundtrack. Because it does sound really, really good. Um, the story itself, I thought it was really good. I thought it was really funny in places as well. Obviously, I don't want to give too much away because just in case any of you guys are still yet to see this movie given the fact that this movie has only just come out um but no in all seriousness if you are looking for a brand new pixar movie to watch on disney plus make sure you go and give uh turning red a watch it is just really really good i really enjoyed it anyway moving over to netflix though and i have just finished watching the adam project Really funny movie. A couple of references to like other movies and stuff. I think they kind of took a bit of a swipe at Marvel with the whole multiverse thing. There was a little line in there I noticed they sneaked in in regards to like multiverses and stuff. Um, it was all to do with time travel. The movie stars uh, Ryan Reynolds and Mark Ruffalo. I thought it was a really fun fun movie to be honest, and I think it is. I'm not going to say it's a family-friendly movie because there is um, some explicit language in it, shall we say. Um, but I think it is still a really good movie, though. Um, definitely one for maybe a sci-fi fan out there who does enjoy their sci-fi movies or time-travelling movies. Um, yeah, I think this was another really great movie. Um 
and it has got a couple of big name stars in it so uh yeah so definitely again another movie that i would recommend which is available to watch right now on netflix so there we go those are a couple of movie reviews uh for me uh from me uh by the way can i just say if you have not yet seen pam and tommy on disney plus i know i've only watched one episode but i'm definitely going to be going back for more because I feel like after watching that first episode, it was mostly focused on Seth Rogen's character. But I quite enjoyed that first episode. I know that the second episode is really raunchy, apparently. So I'm, I'm getting prepared for the raunchiness of the second episode. But I'm already hooked. I'm already hooked on that series. And that's just within one episode. Um, so I'm definitely going to go back for some more Pam and Tommy, I think. Uh, all eight episodes of that series, by the way, is streaming right now on Disney Plus in the UK. The joys of having a dog. Um, I am just about to go outside in the pouring rain on this Friday night at 10 o'clock in the evening. And I'm just about to take Buddy for his last walk around the neighbourhood. Obviously, it's tipping it down with rain, so there is no way that I am going to take him on the backfield because it'll be too slippery, too wet, and it's pouring it down with rain. I'm just going to get absolutely soaked. I probably will get soaked anyway, um, given the fact that, you know, it's tipping it down with rain outside, but there we go. Fingers crossed it's not going to be like this tomorrow morning when I'm on my way to work because... I will definitely get wet and soaked. Um, but there we go. But, uh, yeah, so I'm just about to do that on this uh, Friday night. After that, I'm about to go downstairs and make my last cup of tea of the evening and sort my flask out as well, get that tea bag in that flask, ready for me to get it all set up and ready to go for in the morning when I do wake up and stuff and I'm all ready for work, basically. Um, so, yeah, I'm just about to do that right now. No, luckily I didn't get soaking wet from taking Buddy for a walk. Uh, it was nice and dry, no rain. It was all good, anyway. Already in my pyjamas, ready for bed, just about to head off to bed. It is quarter past ten, um, and I do have work early tomorrow. So for now, I'm just about to shut my curtains and say goodnight to the world, and I will see you tomorrow. Day afternoon, and I have been to work. Yeah, quarter past six to quarter past eleven shift at work today taken this bad boy uh over to uh around the backfield and around the estate as well uh went for a really long walk didn't we bud went for a really long walk i don't know what he's looking at but there we go um but yeah so i took buddy out and i've just been up here chilling checking social media and stuff like that and i've just had some lunch as well so for lunch i had a cheese and onion slice with a packet of quavers so there we go and now buddy is licking my hand because he can probably taste the scent of quavers on my fingers i don't know but there we go um me and buddy we're just going to spend the afternoon up here in my room i think and probably just watch a movie or something i don't know um i might see what's on prime video or something and uh watch a movie this afternoon Okay, you guys, I'm now going to head off to bed as I have just had a shower and I've got uh, into my PJs. Just burp then, pardon me. Uh, <laughs> there we are, have a burp in my weekly vlog. Um, but uh, yeah, oh, I just burped again, excuse me, oh, excuse me. Um, I am going to um, head off to bed and I burped again. What's going on with me? I should really get all these burps out of my system before I start filming, really. I should really. Um, I'm going to head off to bed because it is 10 to 10 and I fancy an early night, so it's good night from me. Um, obviously, I'm going to do tomorrow's part of the weekly vlog, uh, which you guys are going to see in a second. But before I do head off to bed, actually, there's just one more thing for me to say. I have taken the decision um, that this is going to be the last weekly vlog that I'm going to be doing um for the next couple of weeks we say i tell you what i may do i might do a weekly vlog but it's gonna uh be uh filmed in the space of two weeks um so there's gonna be a really long feature length weekly vlog coming up for you guys to watch 
loads of things is going to be coming up in that vlog you do not want to miss it because honestly uh there is a couple of things that i wanted to, that i do want to do um because i do have some time off work so i am going to be in the process of filming that in the next couple of weeks um and then i'll try and get that i'll try and get that vlog up for uh maybe sunday the 3rd of april or something like that um try and get that vlog out for um but yeah there's going to be a lot coming up in it there's going to be some days where i'm just going to be chilling at home doing my normal everyday stuff there are going to be other days where I'm going to be going out and I'm going to go for little adventures and stuff like that. And I want to vlog that. So that is what I'm going to do. So there isn't going to be another weekly vlog after this one until Sunday the 3rd of April. And then the following Monday after the 3rd of April, um, I am then going to carry on doing weekly vlogs. Hopefully on a weekly basis. But... We'll see. It's just at the moment, I'm just kind of not really doing a lot at the minute. And it's just not really vlog-worthy stuff uh, for me to film at the moment. So, yeah. So, uh, I will film tomorrow as part of the weekly vlog. But I don't think there's going to be a lot happening tomorrow, to be honest. Um, so, and then from there, I will, um, yeah, do another weekly vlog. Which is just going to be a two-week long weekly vlog which is going to be a feature length one but in the meantime though it's good night from me and i'll see you guys in the next scene of the weekly good morning youtuberinos that should be the new name for my steve official youtuberinos sunday morning just woke up it is half past four in the morning and i'm uh, got dressed into my work uniform as i'm off to work today and i'm starting off my day by taking buddy for his first walk of the day around the neighborhood First made myself a flask of tea and put my Apple Watch on my wrist and now I'm ready to head off to work. So I'm currently on my way to work on this Sunday morning doing a 6.45 to 11.45 shift. Today is Sunday the 13th of March 2022. Jason Voorhees, better look out, I'm on to you. Um, <laughs> no. No, it's it's not Friday the thirteenth. Don't worry. Um, although there should be there should be one for Sunday the thirteenth. I feel like that's an unlucky day. Um, <laughs> so maybe I could be the next villain in a new franchise, which is kind of a spoof or a take on Friday the thirteenth, which is called Sunday the thirteenth. Anyway, the afternoon. I need to keep remembering that sometimes I tend to lock. Or it happens automatically, but sometimes, obviously, I've got a little remote control. It's the remote control that I have. Sometimes there are times where I tend to lock it, and sometimes when it's in my pocket, it tends to lock itself as well uh, when it's in my pocket. So I need to remember sometimes to just kind of make sure that it's not in lock mode which i don't think it is right now so there we go um because otherwise i can't press the record button and i have to use my camera to record and it's just so annoying um anyway it is sunday afternoon and i have just got home from work and i'm now just about to get out of my work uniform on this sunday afternoon Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening it's just turned five o'clock and I've just finished watching uh, Unfriended Dark Web on Amazon Prime Video um, always such a good film I always love watching it it's just such a good film such a good horror movie um, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here because there's nothing really else for me to talk about in this week's weekly vlog I mean uh, if you're curious to know what I'm getting up to in this uh, upcoming week now that I'm not filming anything, um, I'm just going to be working. I have also got my support workers uh, on Monday morning and Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday afternoon, I'm doing some creative writing at the moment um, on a Wednesday afternoon at Bournemouth University, which I think is quite good. It's good for the mind. It gets your mind exercising and stuff. So I really do like doing a little bit of that but that's a little uh sort of course that's running uh across the next six weeks or so maybe i might talk about it in my next weekly vlog i don't really know to be honest because the next weekly vlog that i have got coming out will be on the 3rd of april and that's going to be filled with a lot of things that's being lined up um Honestly, i'm really hoping that the weather does hold off because i've got so much filming to do 
in the space of like a two week period um which will begin from the 21st of march to the 2nd of april and then after that i will hopefully then edit that all together and it will be a, in a special weekly vlog feature length special it'll be coming out on my youtube channel steve official um at midnight on the 3rd of april so that's when you can next expect my next youtube video um, also as well, tomorrow I might be meeting somebody. Um, over the last couple of months I have been on these Facebook group chat things uh, where basically people around about my age can kind of meet up and socialise with new people who they've never met before or you know, they may make friends through it and then they may, may decide to kind of meet up again and do various different things with them um well there is somebody who wants to go to a cafe tomorrow like tomorrow morning or afternoon um so i might be meeting up with them tomorrow and i will talk all about it in my next weekly vlog i will talk all about it and let you guys know how it goes it's my first time meeting this person it's the first time me going to one of these group social things as well um on facebook which is going to be really weird um but either way though i'm really looking forward to it i looked at the event earlier it just appears that me and this other person are the only two people that are meeting up there is somebody that might be going but not confirmed so don't know about that just yet um other than that though uh yeah that's that's it really. I uh, for the rest of this evening I'm gonna have some dinner shortly. I think I've got a chicken casserole or something for dinner tonight. Um and then I'm gonna be spending the evening having a video chat with my friend Kieran on Skype like I normally do on a Sunday evening. And then after that I'm gonna be watching the replay of the What's on Disney Plus QA for this week and I need to submit my questions in for that, so I'll do that very shortly. And if Gadget Cast are going live tonight at 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock or whenever, then I will go and watch them as well when they go live, depending if they are going live or not, because for the last couple of weeks they haven't done so. So it's one of those things where they do it on a Sunday every couple of weeks or something. So, yeah. Um, other than that, though, I'm not going to give too much away about my next weekly vlog, which is coming out on the 3rd of April, other than... It is going to be quite an adventurous weekly vlog and a bit of a roller coaster as well at the same time. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely going to be a really good one. Um, I can promise you that. It is going to be a lot better. It's going to be a bit more content in it as well uh, than there has been in the last couple of weeks, which I do feel like this vlog is lacking at the minute. So, I'm just going to kind of take a break, go away, have a little bit of a think as to what I'm going to do with these vlogs. And then I will be back in a couple of weeks with a very long feature length weekly vlog where I'm going to go on so many adventures and you guys are going to be prepared to see it because it's going to be amazing, trust me. There's some areas where I haven't been since before the pandemic, which I would love to go. So just bear that in mind. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do that. But in the meantime, though, if you do want to uh, subscribe to my podcasts, you can do. They're available to listen to on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts and Spotify Music. Just search Steve's Weekly Podcast. Feel free to give me a follow and feel free to subscribe to me on Twitch as I am a Twitch affiliate. The username is Steve Crosby Official. I will be going live on the 15th of March this week at 11.30am to 1.30pm. Um, this week I am uh, going to be playing uh, Flight Simulator. Um, so that's going to be happening on my Xbox One. I don't know whether or not I'm going to go live on Thursday the 17th of March. I don't quite know yet, but we'll see. Um, and feel free to give me a follow on Twitter at my name is Steve over the OBN a zero. And feel free to give me a follow on Instagram at Steve Graham official is the username. Um, in the meantime, though, that's all from me. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next weekly vlog that will be out on my youtube channel steve official at midnight uk time on the 3rd of april